The 50s was a golden era of big screen sci-fi. Here's our pick of the decade's 10 very best genre films. Off screen and on, the 1950s was a spectacular era for science fiction. In literature, Ray Bradbury kicked off the decade with his masterpiece, The Martian Chronicles. While digest magazines like Galaxy were publishing the works of such sci-fi luminaries as Arthur C. Clarke, Isaac Asimov and Robert Heinlein, in the cinema, every year brought forth a fresh wave of genre pictures, some brilliance in their awfulness, Plan 9 from Outer Space, Robot Monster, others simply brilliant. This article is devoted to the movies in the latter category. Number 5. The War of the Worlds, 1953, H. G. Wells' classic alien invasion novel got its first big screen adaptation in Byron Haskins' colorful, brisk updating, which shifts location from the UK's home counties to the sunnier climes of Southern California, while leaving its story of mass destruction largely intact. The tripods imagined by Wells now have invisible legs, too tricky for the effects team of the time to animate, but are slickly designed and as havoc inducing as ever, obliterating soldiers and entire towns with their deadly heat rays. The movie also dispenses with Wells' anti-imperialist subtext, replacing it instead with some ill-advised religious mumbo-jumbo about divine providence, an inclusion that would have, no doubt, infuriated its staunchly scientific author. Some cool creature designs and model effects more than compensate. Number 4, It Came From Outer Space, 1953, as a youth. The ultimate revelation that it came from outer space's aliens were, in fact, harmless travelers with engine trouble rather than merciless invaders came as a terrible disappointment. Viewed as an adult, the film's premise, the work of the incomparable Ray Bradbury, is an unusual one, particularly for sci-fi of the time. As was the case in the day the Earth stood still, it's the ignorant humans who are the real menace. There's still a hint of Bradbury's gentle poetry in certain patches of Harry Essex's screenplay, while director Jack Arnold punctuates the film with some occasionally startling images. There's a great moment near the opening, where law enforcers open fire on a speeding pickup truck, and the view cuts to inside the cabin as it catches fire. Then there's the alien craft itself, an eerie polyhedron of light that convinces, despite the film's tiny budget. Number 3, Invaders from Mars, 1953, treading the boundary between science fiction and dreamlike fairy tale, William Cameron Menzies' classic Invaders from Mars captured the 50s fear of communism with mesmerizing style. The film's opening, in which a little boy watches from his bedroom window as a flying saucer descends into a field during a thunderstorm, is an unforgettable sequence, paving the way for almost an hour of unrelenting paranoia. Making the most of a meager budget, Menzies created a series of remarkable, impressionistic sets that looked like something out of a febrile nightmare, from the weird angles of a police station to the field in which the aliens lurk. And while this lack of cash becomes painfully obvious in the final reel, with the running time padded out with endless flashbacks and extensive use of stock footage, Invaders from Mars is nevertheless a chilling, effective sci-fi gem. Number 2, The Day the Earth Stood Still, 1951, I owe my enduring devotion to sci-fi to BBC2. In the 1980s, the channel aired a series of 50s genre movies at around tea time every week. I remember rushing home from school one winter's evening to watch The Day the Earth Stood Still, and sitting wide died before the television as the rail-thin figure of Michael Rennie emerged from his sleek flying saucer. I was absolutely spellbound. Rennie may have been a mere man in a silver suit, but his performance, as an extraterrestrial with a grave message to deliver, is utterly convincing. Along with Jeff Bridges in Starman and David Bowie in The Man Who Fell to Earth, Rennie makes for one of the screen's most engaging humanoid aliens, bringing an ethereal, detached grace to the role. Then there's Gort, the robot of few words, whose deadly eye can melt tanks, and who can only be pacified with the now immortal phrase, Clatterbaradonipto. A classic. Number 1. Destination Moon, 1950. 
the 50s era equivalent of 2001, A Space Odyssey, Destination Moon was the brave attempt of producer George Powell to bring a convincing account of a maiden voyage to the moon, 19 years before the actual lunar landing took place. There are many aspects of Destination Moon that are now peculiarly quaint, the V2-like rocket, the stilted dialogue, and flag-waving jingoism, but the movie is notable for its concentration on scientific fact rather than bug-eyed monsters, and its attempt to imagine what a lunar mission might look like is, in places, surprisingly accurate. Leave a comment to let me know, do you agree or disagree with this video? And tell about your point. And leave a comment if you want top 5 sci-fi find out other true too. Subscribe to watch new video every afternoon. Thank you for watching.